Have you found Pyro Bro yet? Yes, I have, but my Intel, it does, so I don't understand how, so people said Pyro does scale, and then someone said it doesn't scale. So I have, well, I, I did have it equipped, I'll change back to it. I did, I do have the Pyromancy Flame, but I'm also, um, I also have Magic Weapons, so I have a staff separately. Uh, let's go and get that loot. Or try to, at least. Divine is a skeleton killer. Skeletons? Why would you mention that? It scares me. So, Darkroot Garden, I think, is completed, technically? We finished Darkroot Garden? Because... The boss is dead. There was nowhere to go except to get that Divine Ember. Um, so let's very carefully go and try to clear out the rest of the garden. And I want to I go down that one route that I had pointed out before, because I don't know what's there. I started going down that way, and I found a, a, one of those gecko things, or the lizards. I do want to kill as many of these as possible for the, the moss clumps. Uh, and then I just turned around because I was. It seemed like it was like opening into a whole, oop, whole different area. What do you have for me? Egg vermifuge. What the fuck is this stuff? Removes parasitic egg from body. Well, hopefully we don't have any of those right now. I also have a lot of souls, so if I lose them, I prefer it to be in a spot that does not trigger a trap in order to get them back. Cast your stupid thing. I'm trying to get better at uh, switching between switching between a shield and two-handing a sword. Because if you can do that quickly, then you can get a lot of damage in when you see a good window. This is this is one, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that'll be that'll be useful. One of them's dead. Here's the other one. I was gonna say, it took that guy a while to get up. The other one's still down. Okay, good. So we handle this properly. I wonder if people find the way I play this a little boring. Again, I'm very, very careful. And once we get later into the game, I presume I'll be running into encounters that I just get, like I just struggle with a lot. And then I start dying a lot more as I try to figure it out, but For Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Stone Great Shield. That sounds good. We'll check that out once we get out of here and not die. Elite Knight Armor. Don't cast that, bro. Shit. <laughs> That's actually bad. No, no, we were far enough away. It doesn't matter. There we go. We're good. I did not need to kill these. I could just run, but I think it's... Oh, no. The, the thing is still on us. Shit. Whew. I'm going to eat my words after I'm like, oh, we can handle this now. No problem. There was purple moss somewhere. Where is that? I'm lost. I'm lost? It's back this way, wasn't it? There was definitely an extra moss drop. Where did it go? That's a really heavy shield. Uh, once I get back to the bonfire, I'll start. I'll look at all the stuff that we got. Huh. I. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I knew there was another moss drop. That's good. A lot of purple moss. Uh, we found all the stuff that was up there with the wolf ring. So I got the elite knight armor. I, I'm, I'm comfortable with medium rolling, and eventually I probably want to get to fast rolling, and I feel like the... We'll check to see what the weight is on the... 
on that stuff. I can't believe I'm still human. Um... I don't know. I need to start dumping dexterity at some point. Or I can get my two slots attunement. Okay. I'm good with that. I quite like the endurance stat, if you can't tell. Elite Knight is a good set. You should use it and upgrade it, but you will need Havel's Ring. What does Havel's Ring do? Great magic defense, but it's a great shield made of stone. That's the key you found. The Divine Ember, by the way, for Havel's Ring. Oh, that's right. I did get a key, and I don't know what it was for. Wait, wait, wait. No, go back. <laughs> Ember for Blacksmith Weapon Ascension. Okay. So we got the... Watchtower basement key. Oh, is that the guy? I remember I went down there and I was I saw a big knight and I was like, nope, <laughs> I ran away from him. Maybe we want to go and try to kill him now. Havel's ring gets you more weight. Let you wear 9,999 pounds and still roll like a champ. Oh. Well, I guess we should go try that then, right? Or will he kill me, like, instantly? <laughs> we'll see. So in terms of... Oh, good, a blooming. Uh, in terms of soul levels from now on... Um, I want to get strength up to, like, 24-ish, and then probably leave it there. And then... I want to get strength up to 24-ish, then leave it there, and then start pumping into dexterity, and hopefully find a good dex sword. Because I do like these one-handed swords, and I did my research online, and it doesn't seem like there are that many good straight swords. And, and uh, so I found some curved swords that looked fun, but they're all dex-based, so I'm going to start pumping dexterity. As long as we have uh, the, the base level to use. And then we have enough strength that we can probably wield most of the big two-handed clubs or swords if we feel like it. Dark Root Basin. Havel is a tough fight. You need to backstab. It's good to have a bleed weapon to cheese him. I don't have a bleed weapon. I'm very bad at backstabbing. Let's, uh... So I assume the key opens the door down at the bottom of that area. And I'd have to go back to Undead Berg to get there. You can go the other way behind you. It boosts... Okay, so Havel's Ring boosts your load capacity by 50%. Interesting. I've noticed at early points in the game, it's like we're just picking up gear sets that other classes typically start with. Interesting. Is there an easy way down here that won't kill me? Night ahead. I don't see it. Real quick, though, let me go, uh... Go this way. Did I miss a path? Someone said I could go the other way behind me. Um... There's, like, a whole thing up here that we can go to. That looks... Frightening. Am I underleveled for this area, or am I in an okay spot? I 
I guess let's try to kill. Oh yeah, we seem okay. We seem okay here. These seem really susceptible to, uh... Okay, that I don't like. They seem pretty susceptible to stabbing. Or piercing attacks, rather. Uh, I, this has got to be it, right? I'd like to go back and kill that knight, if possible. This is the Hydra Zone. There's a bonfire somewhere. Is there a bonfire down here? I know he's right in here, isn't he? Yep, there he is. Here, we got a lot of space down here. Let's see if he'll he'll follow us. Oh! <laughs> he's so scary. Can he not come out here? I guess we should just do it. Let's go. Okay, I can see why backstabbing is likely needed. This is going to take a while. Oh, God. Okay. Every time he swings, I'm like, I'm gonna die! <laughs> Every time! Back. Oh my god, he does like a... Poise! He doesn't have enough poise! Ooh. Oh! I'm alive. I'm not alive. I was doing okay. I was doing okay there. I, I obviously want to go and pick up my stuff. For my, I mean, I wasn't sure what to expect from that guy. That went okay. Now that the door's open, I could rush up there and, and sit at Undead Berg instead. Because it's an easier, it's probably a shorter run back. Actually, no, it's probably not. And I can also farm moss clumps as I do this run. See, I was staying close to him. My concern with it was that I couldn't quite... I couldn't get around him. You know what it kind of seems like is... Armor might be sort of pointless. I might as well get myself fast rolling so that I can, I can backstab him quicker. So I think I might remove a lot of my armor. Jay, when are you going to be done with Dark Souls 1? Are you going to play Dark Souls 2, 3, and Bloodborne? I have no response to that. But I will comment and say, it's funny how anytime I start a semi-new series, people always ask when I'm going to play every other single installment of the series. I played Command & Conquer Generals, and I was like, when are you going to play every single Red Alert and every single CNC game, except CNC 4, because we hate that one? <laughs> like, it's like years of commitment uh, in terms of my release scheduling. <laughs> but yes, I, I am enjoying this quite a lot, so I do anticipate to move into Dark Souls 2 and 3. I heard 3 is excellent. See you later, Michael. Thanks for stopping by. Killing Havel with the wing spear takes a lot of time, but you can stab him through the door? Right now, I'm just focused on getting my souls back, and then I might run... Ah, uh, he'll probably chase me, right? I was going to say, to get back through Undead Berg. I should have taken off my armor like I said I was going to. See, that seemed like it should be a backstab. 
That seems like it should be a backstab. I'm coming for you, buddy. Shh. <laughs> There we go. Havel never leaves so you can plunge him. I'll never understand why some, like it really seems like I've got a good backstab sometimes. And then sometimes, yeah, like right there, how is that not a proper backstab? Dead. Ooh, not dead. What? There we go. <laughs> What the hell? Maybe we got him. Someone said that this is not... In my last stream, I had asked, like, who is this guy? And someone said, it's Havel. And then someone else said, it's not Havel. It's a, it's it's one of Havel's knights. So apparently there's a, a difference. I don't know. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> I like how he just spins around. He's like, I'm gonna get you no matter what. There we go. One more time. Get him. Yes! Havel down! This is definitely Havel. Two tries? That's not bad. Okay, let's replace this ring of evil eye. Boosts maximum equipment load by... Okay, so now we can fast roll with our current armor set on. No, we can't actually, because we're at 24. We need to ditch... Oh, we can drop the wand. Okay, now we're super speedy. Yes, 22... Point four, which means we're yeah we're under ninety, so we're good. Uh, we opened up this shortcut now. Um, yeah, just a very very small hitbox for backstab. Blue ring is kind of useless, but blue ring has saved me a couple times. A lot of I mean I only have early rings. I don't have anything super fancy. Wolf ring is good, but I'm I'm trying not to get hit in the first place. I'll do evil eye though, just because. Uh, I can get healed up to full. I want to go kill the the Dark Knight that's uh, up in the other direction. <laughs> so I guess that Hydra shoots from like a mile away. It's still firing on us. So these things do that slam that you have to jump away from. Holy shit. Oh, they're all... Oh, God. <laughs> That's okay. We're in, a, we're in a proper spot that if we do die here, we'd be, we'd much, we'd be able to recover very easily. Yeah, I don't know what I expected there. <laughs> oh. Not enough stamina. Do I make people anxious because I don't back out and heal like I should? I wonder if you could parry these guys. Whoa! Stab! Keep them stabbed! There we go. Look at these guys. The only 200 souls is kind of silly. Like, I, let's just leave. We're done. Um. I am a bit low on Estus. I could go back to the bonfire and then attempt to fight the knight. 
Or we just fight the knight. There he is. Let's get him up to solid ground. Where we can properly roll. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's got a halberd. That's gonna suck. How? How? How did that hit me? I've learned not to ask questions. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm getting the backstab window. I, I really struggled up until this point, but it's it's working a lot better for me now. Ooh. Oh, God, how? How did I live? <laughs> I should not have lived. Get fucked. Black Knight Halberd, let's go! Where is it? 245 damage. That's what I'm talking about. Requires 32 strength to wield with one hand, which means, well, well we need the dexterity. If we if we dump three points into dex, we can wield this with two hands. This is what I'm looking for against bosses. This would be pretty good, I think. The true giant dad says best weapon, in my opinion. We must have gotten lucky with that drop then. Didn't we, did he drop something else, didn't he? I don't even know what it was. Yeah, blue titanite chunk. So I, I didn't realize there's all these different titanite... Oh, there's the bonfire. Hang on, there's an item to grab here, then we'll go to that bonfire and see. I'm familiar with Grass Crest, just because I've read about it. Old medium metal shield of unknown origin. The grass crest is lightly imbued with magic with slightly speed stamina recovery. So not only do you have to review all of these stats, but you also always have to read the flavor text because sometimes it's like, by the way, it also does this really good thing that you would not know. Huh. Good so- I mean, we- So we- We killed... The- Dragon. What's it called? Gaping Dragon or something? Uh, we killed Gaping Dragon. Made it through the depths. We kill. We made it through the entirety of the, the forest. And I don't I don't think I missed anything. People were, haven't told me that I explicitly missed something. Uh, we killed the Butterfly. We killed Havel. And then we killed the Dark Knight and got an awesome Halberd that we need to get some decks to be able to use. But once we do, we'll be in good shape. What's up, Edalberto? Thanks for joining us today. This looks like a shortcut. Where does this take me? I don't know where I'm going, so let's go and look first, and then uh, I, I do want to backtrack a little bit. Because I want to go to the Undead Parish first. <laughs> I don't think I want to be here right now. <laughs> Something tells me I definitely should not be here. I know, I know when, I know when I should or should not go somewhere. Yes, I do have the master key. Uh, so, I think my next order of business... even I mean, we've been quite successful with what we've chosen to do. Try, try lever. Um, we've been quite successful with what we've been trying to do. I do know next, though, I definitely want to go to... Uh, Undead Parish. And then probably Blight Town, and I will likely enter Blight Town. Nice, extra Estus. I will likely enter Blight Town uh, through the depths. 
Because I'm I, I'm trying to maintain some semblance of straightforwardness. I don't want to... Uh, sequence breaking is the wrong word, but I don't want to do anything roundabout. I want to kind of go the path that is most straightforward just so I can experience a lot of the game and hopefully find a lot of the secrets. And I, don't, I just don't want to outright skip any areas. Um, so other than the Hydra, which I think I'll come back for at another time... Um, I think we've cleared out Darkroot Basin and Darkroot other place. Forest. There's a ring for damage similar to the blue ring. Oh, like red tear stone? That would be cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not utilizing Havel's ring properly if I'm not wearing heavier armor. I mean, that... I can wear elite knight armor, and I can still roll. Uh, I mean, we're, we're much better defended, but I also feel like... This sound that it makes is gonna slowly drive me crazy. <laughs> Let's go. Purple moss. Honestly, if you already have DS1, there's no reason to buy remastered other than PvP. Well, I've never played the game before, so I figured let's uh, let's do it because it's got the remastered version. Yeah, I'm not leaving this armor on. <laughs> I'm gonna pick something like uh, actually. Do we have? Oh, we can give him. We got the ember, right? That's a fair ember you have there. I've seen one of those. The ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I could produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. I can make a divine spider shield. Ah, okay. So this, like, branches into another upgrade path. So we, there's raw and divine, and then just the normal. See, like, how how could I possibly know the difference? And the, the crafting materials are so... They're so rare that I don't really feel comfortable... I don't know. That's tough. Um... Let's just put our normal armor back on for now. And before we enter the next area, we'll cons we'll reconsider what we're wearing. Cuz I yeah, I feel like I'm wasting Havel's ring unless I am. Um change our checkpoint. I'm wasting Havel's ring unless I am uh, wearing heavier armor. Divine scales with faith. Okay, well that's probably why we won't use it. I'll probably make one token divine weapon to deal with the skeletons. And I'm talking, I mean, I'm saying this all without context. This is just based on what people have told me. There are skeletons that keep reviving unless you kill them with divine weapons. So I'll probably make one weapon that we can use divine with. I'll be honest, I like I just the long sword I really like the long sword move set. Like quite a bit. So I was really hoping I could find something similar to it that's a more unique weapon. So I looked it up and people were saying that the the Balder side sword that drops off these guys in the parish is very similar. And it only drops off the ones with the the bigger shields. So, I guess I'll make a run for I'll just try to kill him right now real quick and see if I can get the drop. Ah! Please. No! That would have been awesome if that- if it just dropped off that guy right there. 
I was when I was looking online it said you farm them here and you can farm them in Sen's fortress and I don't know where that is. So <laughs> we'll uh we'll figure it out later. I also need I need more large titanite shards cuz I would really like to uh Ooh. No. Um I would really like to upgrade my sword to a higher level as soon as possible. You like the Silver Knight Straight Sword. Fortress is like mid game, okay. Oh my god, we've gotten. Oh no, no pillage there. For a second, I thought that each one of those had dropped something. Um. I said we're. I want to go to the parish, right? The other thing I'd really like to do... I'd like to figure out, is there a way to kill the dragon? The big dragon? That would be cool. I'm not aware of how to do it. But people were saying it drops a sword, not, and, and then the people were saying it sucks, so I'm not going to use it, but... I'd also like to see what's under the bridge that he's in, because I can't, can't get there, so I presume we have to kill him. There's also oh there's another black knight up there too um, that I forgot about let's uh let's clear these guys out and then draw him up here and kill him in this courtyard now that we're here okay. Drake King likes to bring a divine large club to the catacombs. You can stand under the pillar on the bridge so that his fire won't reach you. Hello. Come down here, please. On the bridge where the fire drake is, you can find the weapon. And then it lands and you can run past it? I didn't even know it left where it's sitting. Yeah, I don't care about the differences between wyverns, drakes, and dragons. That's like the last thing I could possibly care about in the entire world. I think this guy reset. Can we draw this guy down here? I hope so. So I really don't want to fight him up here. Whoa. Okay, now, now he's coming down. He's coming down. Lobnan confirms you can draw him. Got it. Oh, you're talking about the dragon. Not this guy. Don't reset. Oh, no! <laughs> the camera. Yeah, come down here. Let's go. This is, this is worth doing, I think. I don't want to fight him at the top there. There we go. Oh, you were talking about the knight. Okay, well, we got him down here now. We got a plus five shield, so we should be able to just outright block him. Something, oh, wow. We. I suspect we will not be able to parry him. Oh, cool, okay. Bit of a delay there. Take a moment to collect ourselves. 
Backstab! Don't backstab. That very first Dark Knight, Black Knight, whatever kill that we got was pretty, uh, pretty thrilling for me. How many attacks does he have? We, we just, we just hung out at the blacksmith's thing, so we should be fine. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> I swear, I will never understand the parry windows. I will never understand them. Or the the backstab windows, rather. Okay, he's far enough away, I think we can afford a, a, a sip. Oh god. Yeah, there we go. Titanite chunk. I have not found a purpose for those yet. Oh, so the, he, oh, he is parryable. Got it. I learned the parry window for the smaller one, but, um, let's not get poisoned. Please. Humanity? Ha ha! <clears throat> That's why I always like coming down here. Chance for some humanity. I mean, one thing that I, in my opinion, that we see, no backstab. Um, one thing I've kind of come to the realization, I guess it depends on the enemy you're facing and how strong their attacks are based on how much endurance it takes up to block. But some attacks are just easier to block than predictably dodge. And if it's a new enemy, like I've not experienced a lot of the enemies that I'm coming across now. So it makes more sense for me to try to block them than to dodge them, because, like, that very first time the Dark Knight attacked, I missed the dodge because he delayed his attack slightly. I There's no way I could have known that, because I've not fought that enemy before. So it's way better to block and learn that time him. Learn that, learn that timing. Rather than, uh... Now, ah, let's go through Undead. Berg. Let's go through Lower Undead Berg and see if we can get some Thief set items. Um, anyway, yeah, that's my justification for blocking most of the time, even against larger enemies. If, if you can... I mean, if you die to one hit when you're blocking, then, like, oh well, you just die and come back and try it again. But... but yeah, like, learning parry windows for different attacks of different enemies certainly seems like something that would be... Uh, worth the time to learn. And we're in an area where, like, I'm not really at risk of losing my souls if I drop them once. I don't think. <laughs> okay. Okay. Please pass away. How dare you. I swear to God. <laughs> Hello. Oh, these, so these bleed. Ah, we got a drop. And it's knife. All right. Where is the claymore? Sorry, just, just, you may have listed it before, just let me know. Titanized chunk is plus 10 to 14. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Yeah, but seriously, these are awful dogs. Who let them out? <laughs> I had a lot of trouble with these things in my first go around. Don't parry me, bro. Here, take this. Try kicking. That's a neat trick. Near the dragon bridge. The claymore's on the bridge in the undead burg with the red fire. Okay, so I have to lure the dragon out first. Let's fight Capra. Ow. 
I just don't want these things chasing me, so I'm killing them. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'll consider... Again, I'd like to try to kill the dragon. Maybe after we upgrade our weapon a little bit, and then we'll go and get the claymore. But I also got the halberd, which I'm really excited about, and I don't... Actually, let's go sit at a bond. Let's go to Firelink. We'll sit at the bonfire, and we'll see what the requirement is to even upgrade the Dark Knight halberd. And if we have it, then we'll upgrade it, because then I, I was talking about really wanting a good two-handed weapon for bosses and such, even though I do quite like my shield. You can kill the dragon even after you lure the dragon. You could just use the halberd all the time. It's really good. I know. I'm just so used to my move set, you know? Uh, yeah, so next stop is going to be Undead uh, Asylum. That was very dangerous. Should not have done that. Could have fallen off the edge. Yeah, I thought about picking up the Uchi Katana from that first vendor. Twinkling Titanite. Is this worth my Titanite? People are, are saying good things about this, so let's do it. Three hundred and eighteen damage, baby. Oh, I don't have the Dex. I don't have the dex. Okay, well, I leveled it up. We've got a really good weapon waiting for us once I put the points into dexterity. I think I need 18 dex. Yeah. Uh, whoops. <laughs> See you next time! Oh, I was excited about that, too. Killing the dragon is really hard because he is really cheap. Okay. Again, we'll we'll revisit that. Oh, these people are gone. They're all gone. What the hell? That guy was gonna sell I mean he offered to sell us miracles. I guess we can't do that anymore? Considering a change of location, I have a rather pressing matter to attend to. Thanks for the Estus. That keeps See you later, Player Don. Thanks for sticking around. But... <laughs> they went on an expedition in the catacombs. Got it. I don't have. I didn't pick up any Firekeeper souls, did I? That would have been awesome. <laughs> 